guys welcome back okay so today i wanted to play around in some really cute or pretty little palettes that i purchased actually a few months ago i've had them for a while and i found this brand on instagram i saw some pictures someone had up of these palettes and the swatches and i was like okay i want to try them out so i went to their website and actually saw that they had a lot of these palettes on sale. I guess maybe they're clearing some out to bring in the new ones, but let me just show you. I only bought six. So this is what they look like. Lord, don't let me drop them. <laughs> but I bought six of these really cute five pan palettes and they're like their own little different color story for each palette. So they're really, really cute. They all have like mattes, shimmers, and glitters in them. So I thought that was really neat. And of course, you guys know I love colors. So when I saw these color stories, I was like, hello. <laughs> so, but at this point, I'm really, really curious about the formula because when I swatch them, they feel really nice. They look really nice. And I'm just really curious to see how they perform actually on my eyes because they feel amazing. Now for these palettes, I pay, there is a conversion rate. So I don't know what the exact amount is for the conversion rate on their site. Their six of whatever it is. <laughs> Cause I think these come out of, Lon is it London? Yeah, they are actually located in London. So there is a conversion rate for the pricing, but I averaged mine out to come to about eight bucks per palette because I paid $48 for my whole order. And that was including shipping and everything. So, you know, for the six palettes, I'm just saying I paid about eight bucks for each palette, including, you know, shipping and stuff. So I just want to run through, give you guys the name of each palette, swatch them, and then I want to play around in one of these palettes. So let's just get started. Uh, glasses, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness okay so this first palette is called the bf palette now they're all called status quo so you can see that on the front it says unique beauty status quo and then on the back is where you get your palette name and everything cruelty free all that good stuff now what i will say about these palettes is that they um I had two of them come damaged or it had one of the shadows shattered, which I'm not surprised at all because the um, formula on the shimmers and the glitters, you know, it's something that can easily break if it's not packaged very well. And they did just come like in a padded envelope without any real extra padding. So I will say that that's a negative because I think, a lot of people might end up getting their shadows damaged when they receive them. I was able to repress mine without a whole bunch of drama, so I just did that. Just FYI, you know, they can be easily damaged with the way that they ship and package their palettes. I think they should pack them better. So let's go ahead and swatch this one. This is the BF palette. And I'm gonna swatch the glitter last because uh, that's gonna be a doozy. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> That's how you swatch when you're kind of blind. You know, you put one on top of the other. So let me swatch the glitter. I'll try to just swatch a little bit. So that's what the glitter looks like. Really pretty blue. But this is the BF palette. I'm gonna try to get my swatches together for the next palette. Okay, so this next one is the Pop palette. P-O-P, -P, Pop. Very, very pretty. This looks like it might've been one of the ones that I had to repress the glitter because it's kind of messy as you can see. Very pretty pink tone palette though. Okay, let's see if I can do a little bit better this time. Okay, and let me swatch the glitter. 
So that's what the glitter looks like in that one. Super pretty, oh my gosh. Those first two shadows, really, really pretty. Okay, next we have here the Drama Queen palette. Gorgeous purple and like gray, silver gray. So this is the Drama Queen palette. So pretty. And let me swatch the glitter. So that's what that palette looks like. That's really pretty. Very, very pretty. Oh, that's silver, hello. And this one is another kind of purple tone palette, but it's slightly different. It's called Girl's Trip. And this is one that I definitely know that I had to repress. I had to repress this color right here, this gorgeous blue purple shade. But this is what Girl's Trip looks like. Oh my gosh, that first shade is my favorite. The one I had to repress. That's why I repressed that mug because it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, let me swatch the glitter. This glitter is very pretty. Hopefully I can get a decent swatch for you guys. So that is the color on that glitter. It's kind of like a really pretty lavender purple. So pretty. Ooh, look at that twinkle. Gorgeous. Okay, next I have here one of my favorites. This one is called Dark Souls. Beautiful green and gold. I can show it, right? <laughs> Yo, look at these colors. So pretty. Yeah, this is one of my favorites, Dark Souls. This second shadow here, which looks like black, it's not picking up very well when I you know take my finger over it as you can see is not picking up very well at all it feels kind of like a strange formula so i don't know how that one's gonna swatch yeah see that's it's really weird because it's not like a regular matte shadow but it doesn't look like it's very pigmented either So I wouldn't have my hopes up too high for that shadow because I don't know what's going on with it. The other ones are very pretty though. Let me swatch the glitter. Oh, this glitter is very pretty as well. It has like, I don't know if you can see that, it has kind of like a dual chrome thing going on in that glitter. Oh, that's pretty. Gorgeous. So yeah, I mean, the whole palette is gorgeous except for this shade here. That black is horrible. I don't know what happened there, but if you want this palette, honey, don't buy it for the black. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty. So I got one dud so far as far as that black shade goes, but I'm not stressing because I got plenty of blacks. Okay, and this one is called Night Out. This one is absolutely one of my favorites. It's so, so pretty. I mean, the color scheme is just gorgeous to me. I think this is the one I'm gonna play in today, you guys. So let me swatch it. Ooh, oh my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> gorgeous. Let me swatch that glitter. So that is the glitter. Kind of hard to describe. It has black, but it looks like it kind of has, I don't know, has some other colors in there as well. Looks like a little bit of green, a little bit of blue. Yeah, it's like a, a multi-colored black glitter. It's very pretty. I don't know if you can see that. Very pretty, but this shadow right here bomb and it's so smooth and creamy both of these this one and this one so let's get started because i don't want this video to be 50 hours long <laughs> okay so i am going to go ahead and prep my lids with my born this way concealer from Too faced It's always weird to me trying to do my eyes after my base makeup 
but that's what we're doing today because my face is already done. Okay, so I got my eyes prepped. Now, are there any names for these shadows? Hmm. Yeah, I don't see names for these shadows. They're not listed on there or anything. It's just the shadow. Yeah, and if you don't like, like you see how this glitter is like right in between two mattes. If you don't like glitter, then you probably don't want this palette because for me, it doesn't really bother me if I can blow the glitter away or just lightly dust it away. I don't care. It ain't that serious to me. So I'm going to go in with this light shade here and just kind of blow that out all over my lid. And since I'm not familiar with this brand or these shadows or this formula, you know, it's a learning curve for me. I don't know if it's best for me to go in with a set base or a wet base. So we are gonna find out together, okay? But so far I see this color showing up very nicely. It seems to me just the way that the shadows feel like you probably can use this on a wet or a dry base. You know, my base is still a little tacky or a little moist as they say. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I could definitely see using these on a set base as well. And the color might be even brighter if it's a set base. Cause you know, when your base is wet or tacky, it kind of deepens up the color, which I actually like. Okay, that's pretty. I didn't necessarily want this super bright, you know, like pale shade. You see how dark it is on my lid because of my base? I like that actually. But if you want this color that's in the pan, you might want to try a set base. It's blending out fairly smoothly. I'm not experiencing patchiness or loss of color. I like it. And this color is kind of unique. It's very pretty. We'll see how the other shadows lay on top of this color. That is the question. Okay, so far so good. Okay, of course, now I want to go see, you see how there is like powder. You can see how it's kind of like kicking up into that glitter. You can see that there. Okay, so now I'm going to go into this dark shade here and just kind of deepen my uh, outer corner and my crease a bit. Yo. <laughs> uh, hello, pigment. I need to be careful because my base already being done kind of is tricky if I have fallout which I look it's, it looks like I do have a little bit of fallout right there let me see if I can brush that away okay yeah it's brushing away but you might want to put some powder So I'm just kind of dragging that into my crease a little bit and making sure that my outer corner is nice and dark. Ooh, this thing is pigmented. And now I'm just going back in with that first color and just blending out the edge of that darker shade. Yeah, I like that, that's pretty. And I'm just taking my time blending these two shadows together. They're not hard to blend together at all. They're blending together beautifully, but because I'm just like, you know, when you get to blending and you're like extremely particular about things being even and balanced and all that stuff, you could be blending for days, okay? But these shadows are blending together very nicely. I like it a lot. The color combo, very nice. Okay, so now let's add some beautiful shimmer to this lid. I think I'm going to use both of these gorgeous shimmers, maybe the gray in the outer and this beautiful bronzy color on the inner. And I'm gonna spray my brush because you know they are a little crumbly and I don't wanna have shimmer fallout all over my face.
Oh, that's pretty. Gorgeous. I'm almost tempted to just do this gray all over my lid and not add the bronze, but I wanna see both colors, but I would definitely rock this look with just the gray all over my lid. Very pretty. Oh, that's pretty too. I'm gonna go back in with what's left on this gray brush and just blend those two together right in the center of my lid. Ow. <laughs> I like that, that's pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna throw on some black liquid eyeliner. I'm just going to go in with my Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner today. Okay, so that is going to have to be good enough for today. <laughs> Let's go ahead and smoke out this lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with that dark shade that I used in my crease. Smoke it out a little bit with the lighter shade. But first, I'm gonna put on some black eyeliner. And this is just my Milani Stay Put Black Pencil Eyeliner. Okay, so using my e.l.f. small crease brush, it's, you know, just like a small, dense brush. I'm going in with some of that dark shade. I'm going to try to be careful not to get too much fallout. Ooh, the pigmentation. Okay, so now taking the same type of brush, just a clean one, I'm going to go into that lighter shade. And for my inner corner pop today, I'm going to go into one of my Revolution Highlighter palettes. It's the same one that I used on my face today. This is the Revolution Pro Supreme Highlighter Metal Palette, this one here. So I'm just gonna go into this shade and pop that in my inner corner. I think I'm gonna actually mix these two shades together just so it'll be a little bit brighter. Yes. And now I'm gonna go in with some of my Thrive Mascara and then I will come back and give you my thoughts on this palette. So for my lips, I think I'm going to take off this brown lip liner and gloss that I have on just to put on something that matches my eyes a little bit better. So I'm going in with my Ellery and ColourPop lip liner. Just in case you're curious, what I did have on my lips was my ColourPop BFF4 lip liner along with some of my e.l.f. plumping lip gloss. But I want to try out this lipstick I got out of my BoxyCharm last month. And this one is called Smoking on Screen. So let me show you what it looks like. It's a very, very pretty color. It's like a burgundy shade. So I'm hoping it'll go well with this eye look. Feels nice. It feels very awkward holding this big bulky packaging. Very pretty, but very bulky. Ooh, I like that. That's really pretty. And it feels really good too. I love just these old school kind of creamy lipsticks. They just feel good. Okay, you guys. So my thoughts on this Night Out palette. 
um, from Unique Beauty, part of their status quo line. I like it. I like it a lot. I love the color story. It's really pretty and unique to me. The colors really pop, nicely pigmented, blend it well together. I like how the shimmers came together on my lids. Just spraying my brush so I didn't get that fallout. I like this palette. Now, what I will say about this palette is if you don't like a little bit of fallout, a little bit of crumbliness, um, you might not like it if you're extremely particular about that. I'm not. For me, you know, if the shadows perform nicely and I get the pigmentation and, you know, the look, I'm happy. I like this palette. As far as the glitter goes, as you can see, I didn't use it today, but it's in there. If you don't like glitter, then you don't want these palettes because all of them have one glitter in them, at least. Yeah, they all have one glitter <laughs> right smack dab in the center. So yeah, if you're someone who's really particular about that kind of stuff, then just steer clear of these. Me, I'm kind of into that, you know, just kind of like, ooh, what can I do? What can I create when it comes to palettes? So I actually like it. But my overall thoughts, I like it. I think it's definitely worth the eight bucks that I paid for it, you know, including the shipping and everything. I like it. I think it's a great deal for them being on sale. Not bad. I love trying these different you know, just kind of smaller indie brands just to see how their stuff performs. Is it any good? Is there a hidden gem in there? And I like to support smaller indie brands. So I don't know that much about Unique Beauty, but I think I'm about to get to know Unique Beauty a little bit more. There is a, a bit of waiting, um, a bit of a, a lead time on receiving your products because like I said, they are coming from you know, another country. So it does take a little bit of time. And I really hope that they get better with their packaging because there is a chance that you could receive damaged product. Just an FYI, okay? But for me, I'm happy I bought them. I'm happy I tried them out and I can't wait to try out the other palettes. I mean, they are all just so gorgeous. <laughs> so, so gorgeous. So I can't wait to play around with these. Um, the black in this palette is a no-go, okay? So thank you guys for hanging out with me to try out these unique beauty eyeshadow palettes. These are the little status quo ones, and I only bought the ones that was on sale. I know they have some that aren't on sale, but I purchased the ones that are on sale, and I'm happy with my purchase. So those are just my first impression thoughts. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!